Hello and welcome to PR Timecode tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use PR Timecode. Let's begin with creating a new PR Timecode node. If you are working on Linux or Mac, you will get an error after creating PR Timecode. To solve this, select a font directory based on your operating system and make sure to choose right font directory in first time, otherwise your current new session will crash. After setting your font directory, go to timecode settings. From start code, you can change from what time timecode will start. These two digits are for frames. These two digits are for seconds. These two digits are for minutes. And these two digits are for hours. I want timecode to start from 3 seconds. For this, I will change this 0 to 3. Now you can see my timecode is starting from 3rd second. With FPS, you can change FPS of your timecode. You can see after 24 frames, my second is completing. I want 30 fps. Now you can see after 30 frames my second is completing. If you choose fps such as 29.97 or 59.94 you will have to replace these colons with semicolons. If you don't replace colons with semicolons then PR timecode will not be able to calculate drop frames in these FPS. With your start frame, you can set from which frame timecode will start. Say I want timecode to start from frame 10. You can see my timecode is starting from frame 10. If you go to frames before frame 10, timecode will go in negative. Here are properties for text and transformation which you can find in any text node. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries related to PR timecode, post them on Wikipedia or mail to support at the rate primalvfx.com.